something very exciting happening in Oman. The whole objective is to develop further skills of entrepreneurs and anyone interested in business, business enthusiasts. And this event, the workshop, two-day workshop, is being organized by the Oman Establishment for Publishing, Press and Advertising. And of course, the speaker is none other than Emeritus Professor Dato Dr. Sheikh Omar Abdul Rahman, yeah. all the way from Malaysia. And we're going to find out what they have to say. And our guest is also Dr. Ibrahim Al Kindi, the CEO of OEPPA. So now let us catch up with our guest here, Dr. Ibrahim Al Kindi. Uh, why did you think of an important workshop such as this, specifically looking at the management from the top to the bottom? First of all, uh, I want to thank uh, Dr. Sheikh Amor to be with us, and this is a very important event. And we do appreciate his effort because uh, our uh, participants were like his uh, uh, style and uh, presenting those uh, uh, ideas. Uh, the second thing is the importance of those because here in Oman we have. Um, what I said, maybe it's a new revolution for work. Mm -hmm. uh, how to prepare our uh, generation to continue doing what the previous generation been, I mean, done and involved in as a development process. We think there is uh, a critical need for a scientific management. Mm -hmm. Those who can be uh, come from leaders, as to speak, to to the bottom level. Uh, we are not, uh, I mean, looking for followers, as the uh, doctor mentioned. We need uh, those who can make decisions with us mm -hmm. as a leaders uh, to, to change the concept between the common uh, work or common job performance to, uh, I mean, an action required to boost our, uh, I mean, development, to enhance uh, I mean, our uh, performance and style to deal with those all uh, details, uh, specifically in the service, uh, I mean, department, government, uh, I mean, ministries, those who deal with public. Mm -hmm. Now, we have a lot of, uh, I mean, conflict between what is our role as, uh, I mean, as a job uh, specifications and uh, what, we, what we are doing uh, toward uh, I mean, boosting our uh, development plan. Mm -hmm. uh, there is some delay in some places. Uh, our our uh, I mean concept is to move uh, from this point to uh, uh, I mean I mean to another. It's a step. So someone must care about all those small things which is affect uh, negatively our process. Which means immediate answers when immediate somebody answer. comes to the reception. Yes. Even that person should know this, what's this the answer. This is what we are looking for. Okay. This is need a very arrogant decision. Okay. Who are responsible on those? conflicts, how to deal with them, how to solve all those defects as, right. the, uh, as to speak, because there is a lot of talking about uh, the performance of government. A okay. government is not plain because we are the society and the government itself. Mm -hmm. So how to deal with our uh, deed, uh, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, exactly what is our argument need to, to change this uh, bad or negative uh, understanding. That's like taking ownership. Yes. Now, Professor Sheikh Omar Abdurrahman, it's fantastic to see you speak. You have a lot of sense of humor attached to the matter you're discussing. Now, this is something I think everyone could benefit, organizations, private entrepreneurs, personal uh, individuals, anyone who wants to have a bit of self-development too. Absolutely. What is the most important message you're conveying? And also I want to know about the positive world culture and where are organizations going wrong? Thank you, uh, Dr. Brian. Thank you, Your Excellency, for the opportunity. The, uh, the culture that of producing results, not just talking about results. Mm -hmm. A lot of cultures just talk about the results and they are so good in planning. But when it comes to the execution, it is very low. You see, 80 to 90 percent of all plannings fail because of poor execution. Mm. So the culture you're talking about that we want is a culture of execution, not just planning. When you execute, 
it is with your heart and your mind, not just your hands. So I keep telling people that you bring to work not only your hands and your feet, your body, you bring to work your heart and your mind mm -hmm. must be in place. Because it is about serving with your heart. It's about leading with your heart, giving the result is desired. And the result comes in three very important ways. The first one is, it's always about nation building. Mm. So for Oman, it is to build Oman, to be the best that it can be. And Oman has got a young beginning when it comes to development. Number two is about wealth creation. Whatever you do, you've got to lead to wealth creation because the more money you have, the more things you can do, the more development you can do. Mm. And number three, very, very important, is about improvement of quality of life, reaching everyone. So that is a culture that we need. And the culture also of asking questions like this, is there not another way? Is there not another way of doing this? Or is there not a new thing to do? Mm -hmm. Because if you continue to do the same thing, you continue to get the same results. Mm -hmm. It is insanity to expect the results to be different when your, the process is the same. And we're applying the same. Yeah, so do not celebrate when it's the same because that is status quo. Hmm. So we need, uh, I, I was talking to the boys and girls who attended the program, that you must embrace this RPM. The R is results focused. Focus on the result. Whatever you do has got to lead to the desired results. Okay. Lead with results, serve for results. And the P is purpose-driven. Whatever you do, there must be single-mindedness of purpose. Mm -hmm. It's not just about just doing it. No, 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 the purpose. And number three is the M, RPM, massive action. Massive. Not just action. No, massive. Another word for massive action is total action, giving 100%. Mm. Then only you leave it in the hands of Allah. And I say at the end, at the beginning, yesterday, at the end today, mm. I said, you do your best, Allah will do the rest. It's about that. But the culture has got to be that of doing the best. Mm. Not just about surviving. But what stops people from do being doing the best? It is the mindset. The mindset, the habit of surviving so far, getting away with doing the minimum. They feel safe because if you want to give the best, it, it, is, it requires change of habit. Mm. Get out of the comfort zone. So, what can the organizations do to it, bring that? Ah, okay. 100%. What, what His Excellency Dr. Ibrahim Kandi has Al Kandi has done is to have a program like this. I, I know there are other programs, but program like this that create awareness and beyond. What is that beyond? Awareness is just the lowest of, of the result we want. You have a workshop, you've got a seminar. The lowest result, the buy-in level, at the lowest, mm -hmm. lowest is, I know it now. But so what? I know it, but so what? Very little power in just knowing. Go, go to higher level, which is, I believe. I know so. Now I believe so. The power of conviction. And the highest level, which I really did put on my heart and soul today, yesterday, to instill, is feeling. The power of feeling. The feeling, the feeling, and we can use the word sense of, the sense of responsibility, accountability, integrity, the sense of pride of performance, all the bring senses to your life. And I've been saying, my people in Malaysia know this, I do not tolerate nonsense. Nonsense means you are not making sense of your life. So that is what we want. So we need more programs like this. We do need more programs like this. To and reaching instance, out. Or reach out to everyone. And they've got to go out and speak the same language. Mm. Same language of power like us. They feel great, wonderful, tremendous. Never say I'm surviving. Mm. Because we do not want Oman to be just surviving. We want Oman to grow and grow and grow. And that's what Oman deserves, to grow. A lot of enthusiasm and I'm sure the room is packed with a lot of people who are truly inspired today. Dr. Ibrahim, um, this is the first time we're looking at that, you know, the focus is on the top, from the top to the bottom, and not from the grassroots to the top. 
which is very interesting because always the development is looked at the grassroots. And one final question before we let you go. In your speech, you said about uh, the decisions, one which is centralized and the other open decision, which is right? Uh, commonly, mm -hmm. from, from my experience, uh, they blame every, every time on, uh, on leaders. Yes. So let's play it uh, the other way around. Okay, now, if, uh, if we blame leaders, uh, they're doing less than what they required. Okay, do I have the tool, to, uh, I mean, to do my, my best? Do I have, uh, I mean, the source? Do I have the, those, uh, I mean, kind employees in my organization? Let's start from, from top to give a right decision, selecting right people, and then just explain your, I mean, extend your concept, your view, bring them to your level, and then you can you can work with them. I mean, in a proper way. So now to keep blaming, blaming, blaming. This is a long story. This is a yeah. full around. Yeah. Uh, there is no end for yes. that. Well, we have to end the story and start another another game. Just like he said, and you said that. Let's it's, take it to the next step. Just take it and be be the act. Mm -hmm. I mean, the act person. Okay. You are in the position now. Every everyone has a decision to make, but. People struggle to make the decision. How to bring them to that level? This is my, I mean, my performance now, my my activity to to prepare our organization and then to extend this concept to, I mean, to other, uh, I mean, departments because we have a participant from different type of organization. They are from public, mm -hmm. from. Uh, uh, I mean, private sector. There is from civil committees and and More also chairs. yeah yeah. So we I mean we give more than thirty chairs freely to uh, I mean um, I mean to society uh, social uh, workers, yeah, social workers and yeah. Well, so this is what we what we well, I mean what we try to do. We think it's it's better to start rather than stop seeing things going very steadily. So that's the food for thought from here, the talk at Oman Daily Observer with our prominent guests. And they're, of course, Dr. Sheikh Professor Omar Abdurrahman and, of course, Dr. Ibrahim Al Kindi, CEO of OEPPA. Thank you, sir, for joining us. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure.